Hey everyone, my name is Joshua, and I'm going to share some of the stuff I sold on eBay yesterday uh, because I like the other videos that people do, like J Ride Flips and Big Yumbo, how they share. I always watch them and learn from them, and maybe you guys can pick up some tips from this too. Uh, so, with my screen, I sold this is January 1st, I sold 690 bucks yesterday, 18 items. Um, my selling cost is high because there's several days of shipping in this number here, so my net's low, but we did 690 in sales yesterday at 18 items. So we'll just get right into what's sold. I'm gonna sort this from high to low. So let's see, Haller Brothers, if you don't know this brand, this is a really good brand. Uh, I bought a bunch of these on, um, on Black Friday for $59. So my profit margin is not really huge because I paid, paid up for them, but uh, I bought, I think 12 of them and almost almost at least half of them have sold by now. Uh, they're selling for about 89, 79 bucks plus shipping. It's a really good brand, especially the, the Gaucho Snap shirts. They sell pretty fast. Good sell through rate. Uh, this is a motorcycle helmet. I don't know anything about motorcycle helmets, but uh, I just comp these as I walk through the thrift. Um, I picked up a bunch of motorcycle helmets here lately. They usually price them at around I don't know, sometimes like eight bucks, 12, 15. Um, and you can sell them. I sold some of them for over a hundred. This one went for 34 plus 17 shipping. So that was a good sell. Uh, this is like, this is the total with the shipping cost right here. Um, and that's what I netted after my shipping, after my shipping label came out. Uh, Bad Birdie, this is a good golf brand shirt. I found this just by feeling it. It felt really, I've never heard of it before, but I, I it felt really nice. Um, when I'm thrifting, I, I feel a lot of the material and find a lot of stuff like that. I comped it just after I felt it. Uh, that's the logo right there. Um, sold that for, let's see. I got 46.78 with my, my shipping. I charged $7.99 for shipping on pretty much everything, unless it's like a helmet or something odd. Uh, Logitech Slim Combo. This sold in a day. I got 40 bucks for that. Um, I found this at the thrift. I just scanned the back of the box. Here, I'll show you. I think the back of the box is. Um, so I just scanned this area with my phone and looked at the sell through rate. And they had it for, I think, $4.99 at the thrift. Anytime something's in a box brand new, I'll just scan the, the barcode on the back and just get a quick fill for if it's going to flip fast or not. Uh, replay Donnie jeans. Don't know much about this brand. I got 38 for those. I'll show you the logo. I've only, this is the only time I've bought these. I don't know much about them. I've never heard of them. Replay. Maybe it's a popular brand. I don't know, but I've only found them once. Uh, let's see. Levi's. Anything vintage Levi's is worth checking out. Oh, wait. Here, let me go back to the cinch. So I've been selling a lot of cinch jeans lately. About a year back, they weren't selling as good. They seem to be moving pretty good now. Um, got 37 for these. There's just a, a bunch of different cinch jeans with the, the um, they have the little color color scheme here on their on the pants. I don't know what that is. They're like their logo. There's there's white, silver, gold. I don't know how many colors. You can go to the website and check, and it has all the details of what that means. It's based. It's just like size and fit. But those have been moving pretty good lately. Um, Levi's vintage jeans got 36 for these. Uh, everybody's pretty familiar with Levi's. I just pretty much comp anything that uh, I come across that's Levi's that's in a decent size range. Uh, let's see the North Face. I don't pick this up all the time, but I do occasionally. And I comp this one. This was a kid's youth jacket. It sold in 24 hours, I think. I listed it for 29. I think I took an offer for. I don't know how much the offer was for, like 25 or something. Um, moved that pretty fast, but it's a decent brand. It's kind of one of the go-to brands that I, I pick up if I need inventory and I'm not finding what I want. Patagonia, this brand I prefer over North Face. Um, I pick up most Patagonia that I find. These were some, uh, the baggy shorts. I sold those for 35. Uh, and my pricing's with the, with the shipping. There's $7 shipping or $7.99 shipping in there. Um, Gap, I don't pick up Gap that often, but this was a corduroy jogger. It looked really cool, so I comped it, and it had a good sell-through rate. I don't remember how long it was listed. Looks like I, I listed it on December 8th. Today's January 1st, so it 
it moved within a month. Most of the stuff I buy, I try to buy. It's gonna. I try to buy stuff that will sell within a, a, a ninety day period. Um, but I, I'll go up to six months. But I try to buy everything I buy. I try to get that will. I, I comp it and uh, I try to get stuff that has a percentage rate that will sell within a ninety day period. And I can explain some of that stuff later if you don't understand what all that is. Um, let's see. Rock and Roll Cowboy Western Pearl Snap, 33 bucks. That's a pretty common brand. I bought this one because it just it just looked cool. It wasn't too plain and simple, and it had the how to y'all on the back. And, and that was a woman's. Usually I skip those, but because of the howdy on the back, I, I figured it would sell. Uh, Peter Millar, that's a brand that does pretty well. Um, the, the performance pants or golf pants, whatever you want to call them, sell pretty good these sold fast they listed on december 28th and sold them at full full price uh 29 plus shipping um and I, I, a lot of times i'll get the uh the polo shirts the summer comfort polo shirts those sell year round even in the winter time i'll still buy them when i see them and uh sell those under armor this is a brand that i buy sometimes i will usually comp what it is but this was a, i thought it was a pretty cool Pretty cool looking hoodie. Um, and I got the name reactor pullover hoodie. I think I found that after I got home, um, I was just looking up what other people sold and someone had reactor. So I looked it up and that was what I had. Oh, there it is. It's right there in the, it's right there in the tag though. I still think I found it by looking it up on eBay, but if you can get the name of what you're selling and use that as a keyword, that's, that really helps you a lot. If I didn't have reactor in there, I don't know if it would have sold by now. Uh, Polo. Ralph Lauren, Hampton Straight. I sell these all the time. I just pick them up when I find them. If they're in a decent size, I always check the size. I comp the size and make sure it sells. But I usually get at least 25 bucks for those. Um, I have a bunch of them listed. There's the Hampton Straits, and then there's, I can't remember, Heritage, Vintage, something. There's a bunch of different ones for Polo Ralph Lauren that I'll pick up. But it's usually just the men's. I don't usually mess with the women's. I don't find them in the women's. Um, and I don't know what types they have in the women's, but uh, the Hampton Straits, I think, always guys. Uh, Athleta Women's Recover Stretch Police got $32 for that. I've been picking up Athleta a little more here lately. It seems to sell better than Prana. And this was just a cool police uh, that I, and when I comped it, it had a really good sell through rate. I listed that on December 15th and it sold yesterday on January 1st. Adidas skateboarding. These sat for a little while. These are pants, skateboarding pants. I'd never seen them before. I comped them when I saw them and just took kind of took a gamble on it. Uh, I listed them December 6th. They sold yesterday for 24 plus shipping. Kind of a weird looking pair of pants. Um, Wrangler George Strait. I buy quite a bit of this one. I'm in Texas, Houston, Texas area. So I see Wrangler all the time, but the George Strait stuff, I I do pick up. It's kind of like a go-to here, like a bread and butter for me. I find the shirts and the uh, the regular jeans all the time. They don't sell real fast, but they do sell. Like I listed these December seventh, um, and it sold January first, so it didn't set that long. But I got sixteen bucks plus shipping for it. But I find these every day, and if I need inventory, I'll go ahead and start picking them up. Seven for all mankind. This is a brand I don't really pick up much at all anymore but occasionally i'll comp it this was probably old i'm gonna guess when did i list it yeah may 18th so this sat for a long time um and they sold for 19.99 um just some some high rise or high waist skinny jeans women's and that's it that's the 18 items that sold yesterday i'll, I'll do another video of what sells today and post that tomorrow thanks for watching